Good morning and welcome to the second episode of Mustangs First Pitch. I'm your host, Calvin Silvers. Well, the St. Joseph Mustangs had a very busy week of preparation that began on Memorial Day as the entire St. Joe Mustangs roster made their way to the city for the summer. On Tuesday, it was the annual Mustangs Fan Fest, which offered a chance for the community to meet the 2023 St. Joseph Mustangs players and staff and participate in activities around the stadium. The night featured player autographs, national anthem auditions, a kids home run derby, and the announcement of the St. Joseph Baseball Hall of Fame's 2023 class. Well, in case you couldn't make it out to FanFest to visit and hear about this year's team, you're in luck, as I was out learning the must-know facts about some of the individuals on this year's squad. Hey, uh, I'm Trevor McCollum. I go to Washburn University, um, majoring in advertising and PR, and I'm a junior. Uh, my name is Noah Bodenhausen. I go to Northwest Missouri State. Um, my position is second base, but I'm kind of a utility guy, uh, and I'm studying accounting in school. My name is Jack Wells. I'm a right-handed pitcher at uh, William Jewell College uh, in Liberty, Missouri, and I am studying business administration right now. There's been a lot of uh, memories, a lot of championships. Yes. Uh, talk maybe some of your favorite memories that you've had with uh, the Mustangs, if there's one or two or just any. Uh, you know, you can't forget about the, the two times we won the championship the last two years. Um, I mean, just celebrating on the field, that's always great. Uh, one of my favorite memories is being down, I think it was five runs, with two outs in the last inning, um, and we came back and scored six runs that inning and ended up winning the game with two outs and nobody on. I think uh, one of the greatest things about this place that I got to learn about is how quick you make these friendships with all these people, uh, both on the team and in the community with the support they show in just a short matter of time. Uh, this place really starts to come and feel like home to you. Uh, so I'm, I'm super excited to be back here and kind of get that same experience again. So last year was my first year. Um, I was with Jackson Himmel. Uh, playing at Washburn and he told me that this was a great place to come play so I was like you know haven't I went out of out of town my first year to North Carolina and loved it there but I was like I want to stay home this summer so I was like might as well go play in St. Joe I know they got a great fan base up here so I mean I couldn't ask for more coming out here with fans every day. I know you guys are busy all summer but maybe right. when you're not uh, playing a game what's something you like to do in, in your free time in the area? Uh, I fish a whole bunch, um, just wherever. I mean, lots of lakes and ponds. My grandparents got a place out towards Cosby that we fish all the time. So. And what's the the biggest fish you've ever caught? I want if you can remember pounds maybe or the type of fish or. Yeah, well, I, I usually fish for bass. Biggest bass I've ever caught was seven pounds. Wow. Uh, but the biggest fish I've ever caught mm -hmm. was a flathead. It was 16 pounds. Yeah, free time. Uh, I love hanging out with my friends, uh, especially the ones that don't play baseball. I'll catch up with them. Uh, I love to fish. Uh, big movie guy. Um, so just kind of like to hang out, relax, uh, get my mind off baseball when baseball isn't uh, in the picture for the day. So stuff like that for sure. I was interviewing uh, Noah and he said he also likes to fish. Have you guys ever been fishing together? You guys talk fishing at all or, or not? I'm going to I'm gonna have to go in the clubhouse here after this and talk to him about it and make sure he, he definitely knows the spots out here. So And who, who do you think is the better fisher? Probably Noah. Yeah, I mean, Midwest is a lot different from other places around the United States. You got... Great food here, great barbecue. You know, I love the people here. All of them are so nice. And I mean, I grew up here, so having hometown roots about an hour south of here makes it makes it an easy drive. I have different types of barbecue that I like from different places. Like, can't go wrong with Q39. Their ribs fall off the bone, great. And then uh, LC is a little shop in downtown KC, you know. They make the best burn-ins down there, so that's probably my go-to. Now, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of talk with Taylor Swift going on tour here and uh, her concerts. But I gotta ask, uh, you got a favorite artist or maybe favorite genre, or are you a Swifty? Uh, I'm, I'm sadly not a Swifty. Um, I don't know. I listen to a lot of variety of music. So for country, I've been listening to Zach Bryan a lot. Love his music, and then. Like pregame, I listen to rap. J. Cole is who I usually go to, so those are two guys. I'd say that I am. Okay, yeah. Not all as right. much as my girlfriend. But, okay, you know, but you do listen to some Taylor. She's a big fan, but I listen to Taylor. Yeah. All right, and then uh, what, what what do you listen to maybe pregame or just uh, when you need to get uh, you know in the zone? What, what's your go-to genre or song or artist or any of that? Uh, country. 
country. country mainly, yeah. That's right. mainly what I listen to, you know. I am not a Swifty. Not a Swifty, all right. So what do you love? What kind of music, uh, artist, genre, whatever, maybe? What do you like to listen to maybe before games or just in your free time? Uh, free time, I'll go to country quite a bit. Uh, before the game, I'll usually go do some rap for sure. Rap uh, hypes you up a little more than country? Yes, yes, gets me in the zone. Gets me in the zone. Well, as you can tell, a lot of fun characters on the 2023 Mustangs roster, and they all have that drive to win. And speaking of winning, the Mustangs tallied win number one in front of 4,000 plus fans, which was the most amount of fans on a Mustangs opening day in the history of the franchise. Well, looking ahead, the Mustangs will be home Friday and Saturday. The team will then take a nice road trip Sunday through Tuesday before being back at Phil Welch June 7th or next Wednesday. Well, thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Mustangs First Pitch. We can't wait to see you back here same time and same place next week on News Press Now. Thanks for tuning in and have a fantastic rest of your morning.